Hello everybody and welcome back to some mega modded Gungeon. We are back again. Never named is joining yeah, me. And he invited and me once in his I did. miserable life. I did. I turned him down. People people asked for me to turn him down, so now he's a quiet bitch. Anyways, I'm a big, uh, boy. I'm a big boy with my big boy screaming. I had to teleport out of this room after because we we're gonna do a rainbow run, so I had to teleport out of this room. And unfortunately, um, now Jamamancer is doing unspeakable things to my dog. He, Listen, he's really into he, it. It's it's. Our dog's really trying to get away as well. That's the worst part. He, no, he's, he's, I was about to say grooming the dog, but that just sounds worse. He's like, he's using his tongue on the dog, like a cat, uh, cleaning its young. It kind of, oh, do you know, do you know the, the, the dog has like the three little red pixels for his ears? It, 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 it doesn't look like his ears, it looks like the Gemmamancer's hand. Pet dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, little one. Anyways, we're going to jump in. We're going to do a rainbow run, just because we're going to do one. I haven't done one just in a while. Turtle, Turtle's a busy boy. I am a busy boy. I have like three recordings to do this morning, and I've, it's 10 o'clock. It's half past 10 now, and I've got until no about one, one o'clock. It's like every every other day he's like, yeah, we can do something. Then all of a sudden, wait, no, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> because nobody so, tells him anything, and they just spring stuff on him. Exactly. Do, do I want this? Uh, that is basically Holy Mantle. Yes, I do, then. I just yeah, unlocked it, it so it's the, like... Yeah, that's the shade unlock for doing the lich. Yeah, I feel like I kind of have to take it because I've never taken it. Ooh, I really like the icon. The icon looks really good. Yeah, except instead of refilling by a room, it refills by uh, damage dealt. But... Just so it's a bit more in line with Gungeon. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. It's very good. Why don't you tell the people what you're working on right now? Because he's doing things. Oh, he's I'm, doing bits. I'm making a knife, and it's not working. And Gungeon, of course. I would <laughs> never make a knife in real life. I I don't have the skills to make a knife in real life. Or do I? You'll never know. Until it hits you. Until not literally, it hits of course. You. I would never do that. <laughs> Until it stabs you right in the heart. It's a lovely purse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make a, a knife at the moment. It is a, it's actually one of my oldest ideas. Years and years and years ago, I made a batch of gun... It's fine, it's fine. Carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Oh. <laughs> years and years and years ago, I made a batch of gun sprites. Uh, this was before I started modding. I think before I even started making uh, YouTube videos. And... It was... They were really bad. By uh, my standards now. But... One of them, and one of the, I still have them, and one of the more forgettable ones was a cursed dagger that was like a really shitty melee weapon, but it would uh, like give you rewards for getting kills with it. That was kind of interesting, yeah. But uh, so I have actually done a few of the ideas that were in that original sprite batch, like uh, the Tau cannon. The oh, right, grab his gun. Go. Like, really, really terrible original versions of those sprites exist in that original sprite batch. <laughs> nice. And I, I, I so when was them. it that you made them? And wasn't it that you originally made um, those sprites? I, I wonder if you say in the properties. Modified, uh, so that would be four years ago. God damn. Uh, was I making videos then? I don't remember. Maybe. Yes, you were. You, you, you weren't making videos for people who were watching, but you were making videos. Probably, yeah. I went back and looked at some of your older stuff. It was fun. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I did. I watched a bit of your, um, bit of your, I can't remember what it's called now, the, the, the game with YV in it. Oh, Gun Gods. Yeah, I watched a bit of your Gun Gods gameplay. You should, pl you should play Gun Gods. It's abhorrently frustrating. You'll love it. <laughs> No, it does look decent. Gun Gods was very difficult and very like rough around the edges, but it was it was it was worth a play, especially since it's free. Or at least it was free when I played it. Yeah. It's now, worth a look. I was watching if some of your uh, some of your Minecraft update reviews as well. Oh, oh yeah, no those. <laughs> yeah, those um, those were things I didn't really like. 
want to do, but I felt like I I should because like I that, that was back when I was I was doing YouTube just because I wanted to be like the people I watched yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. And I'm actually very lucky that I, I started quite young because I was able to grow out of that mentality very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually start doing what you cared about rather than what you thought would just be, be good. Yeah, like, it's not that I didn't enjoy it per se, it's just that I, w I wouldn't have been doing it if I didn't think it's what I should do. Yeah. As opposed to what I wanted to do, you know what I mean? Luckily, I never actually did that with my channel. Well, whoop dee do. Look who's Mr. Big Man. <laughs> These exactly. shops doing rainbow mode. Yeah, I don't know if they still work, but I hope they do. Should be able to like, no, uh, should be able to give the, him a master round for like something. I don't know. Like you give him a master round and he gives you like a random brown to green chest and you just yeah. get an extra item. Would be interesting. God, funny. Why didn't you think of the rainbow run? It's I mean, ruined. No shops think of the rainbow run. <laughs> I probably should have gone to the oubliette to get an extra chest, but I skipped that now. Ah, uh, you and your extra chests. At least <laughs> do the rat cheese. Yeah, I can do the rat cheese. I'll have the money and everything. But yeah, I, I made a lot of, like, stuff. Okay, uh, that crown is Dark Prince. He's a familiar that debuffs enemies. There's Withering Chamber, which still hasn't been fixed and quote-unquote fixed. Aligned to your sensibilities in this version. There's the uh, Furious Amulet, which is Rage Upon Blanking. There's uh, the... I think it's called the Beta or the Alpha Beam, uh, which is just a pretty good beam weapon. And there's the Ranger that fires a range of bullets that increase in damage towards each, each end of the range. So it's like Ticking up in damage as you go. Take the beam. I got a synergy with it. God. Ooh, absolute radiance. Oh god, no! What have I done? Oh god, no! <laughs> so the absolute radiance synergy it lowers the gun's damage, but makes it split into an ungodly number of beams. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a it's a pretty rare synergy. So I'm surprised that you, of the two items you picked, you got it. I, did, I wasn't even thinking about that when I was talking about it. Like, the moment the little synergy arrow came up, I was like, okay, this thing has, like, three synergies. It's probably not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute radiance. Nice. Oh, it's very yeah, ammo actually, efficient as well. Have you actually gotten hit? I think the, I no, think I the beam is S tier. I think the beam is S tier, so it has a right to be ammo efficient. Yeah. I haven't gotten hit yet, <laughs> no. So you haven't even benefited from the uh, lead soul. I just wanted to take it because it's new and I just unlocked it. True, true. I mean, you are benefiting from it in a way. I mean, yeah, the synergy is quite the benefit. But yeah, a lot of my old videos are very, very bad, but I learned from them. <laughs> and now I make uh, more bad videos, but they're ones that I like. Allegedly. See, Sometimes it's actually good to have a... Uh... Other times I don't make them. It's good to have the uh, the holy mantle effect, because I can't fucking see anything when I'm shooting. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside. <laughs> this is one of my more meme synergies. I actually... The whole reason the synergy exists was because I was just testing. Uh, I was just messing around with the splatter shot item. Because splatter shot, for anyone who doesn't know, is an item in my mod that it makes it so that when your bullets travel a certain distance, they split into three more bullets, and it works with beams. And I gave, and it actually does stack with itself, so that they split into more copies the more you have. So. When I was uh, testing that and I was messing around with it, I gave myself a bunch of copies and just for a laugh used this gun. And I decided that this needed to be in the mod <laughs> in an official capacity somehow. Also, yeah, so you did take some damage. Yeah, I took two hits after I have to lose my thing because I can't fucking see!
price we pay for Radiance. I have to shoot in really small bursts. How long does it take to recharge? I, I don't remember if it's based on damage dealt or kills. Let me just check real quick. A passives. Scroll down to the L section. Let's soul. I do need some damage ups though, because you're right, it is a little bit weak. Okay, it is based on kills. Okay. And yeah, I've, I've just got it back now. Yeah, the shield regenerates uh, the 15 kills. Which is fairly quick, but not like constant. Yeah, it means that you're not going to get it back during a boss fight, basically. Yeah. So. Apart from maybe, minutes. apart from maybe on the um, the dude, the, the um, mind flare. Mind flare. Yes. Yeah, because he's um, yes, he's going the, the bell. Flinger, the one who the one who flings the mines. Oh, this is laggy. Oh dear. I'm not. I'm hitting every sure. seg. It's because I'm hitting every segment at once, and it doesn't like it. Oh god. Uh, uh, look, you can actually see my code breaking in real time. <laughs> I don't think this is just average everyday life. I think something is actually going wrong there. And I love it. But Gotta love yeah, it. I think that might be an issue with the fact that the Amaconda is a really weird enemy code-wise. Yeah, because probably. technically the only part of the Amaconda that is actually the enemy is the head. The rest of it's just for shooting. Everything else is actually closely in code terms, it's they're more closely related to tables than they are to actual <laughs> enemies. Fuck it, Alice. That's just stupid. Because they can take... They're just coded to follow behind the head, and they can take damage and be destroyed. <laughs> oh, God. But, like... Ah, oh, Fucking... I guess whoever I'm made depressed. that... Uh... I guess whoever made that item didn't code it to work with beams. I'm so depressed that it doesn't work with beams. I was really, really excited for that. I'm, it's still I'm gonna be, to. it's still gonna be good because it'll work with other things. But I'm still a bit depressed it doesn't work with beams. It's like the only reason yeah, but... I took it. <laughs> yeah. So as I said, they're more closely related to tables. They actually have, for anyone who knows code terms, basically. Everything in a Unity game, which is what Gungeon is, is is an object. In in code terms, that's literally they're called game objects. And uh, a game object is nothing on its own. It has things that tell it how it works and what it does. And those things are called components, right? Yeah. And the Amoconda's body segments, as far as I know, share more components with tables than they share with actual enemies. <laughs> Fuck it up. Which is why some stuff breaks when uh, the Amaconda's involved. Like, there have been a so, few guns that have broken. In theory, could you go in and add a, a component to be able to flip them? I mean, in theory, I could do that to anything. It's just a matter of making it not break. Do it. <laughs> The, uh, the thing that allows tables to be flipped is called a uh, flippable cover, I believe. And I'm pretty sure you can add, like, you can add any component to anything. It just has to, you know, work. So if I tried really hard, I could probably make the ammo conda flippable. I just don't really care to. Oh my lord. It definitely sets them all off now. We, we know that for a fact. Did you do that on purpose? I or? did. I was testing it out. Dude died. Ooh, yes, oh, testing. Nah, I was just, I was just using it's... it to get my lead soul back. Very silly synergy. I love it. Yeah, I need to take yeah, like a I fast like... firing gun next for elite bullets to work right. I do quite like um, Rainbow Mode because it really it lets you see a lot of the rarer modded items that you don't see as often. Like definitely, I think this would yeah. be your first your first time picking up this gun, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that is. 
and your first time picking up uh, Lead Soul and and this and that and the other. Exactly. Ooh, yeah. Shrine Room. I think this is the one that takes the gun that's in your hand. Would it take the synergy form though? It wouldn't, would it? No, it wouldn't. Okay. Well, I don't have anything to give that guy then. <laughs> you have a crossbow. Why not, I guess? Why not? I'm not even sure if Bunny, uh... Because when I made the Artemis Shrine, I was a bit worried that it would be too close to Bunny's uh, shrine. But I feel like they're different enough. Oh I yeah, definitely, bunny... definitely. Yeah, Artemisal is, is random, whereas bunnies is you give it a gun and it makes that gun orbit. Wait, what? Excuse me? Yeah, double uh, chest room. It's, it's a rare thing that can happen in my mod. Well, I know that, but like why he wasn't sat on both of them? Does that mean one of them I can oh, use? Oh, if multiple, if multiple chests spawn in the same room, Bola can only be sat on one of them. Why, why can't I activate this dude? Requesting repair. Requesting repair. Requesting oh, I think I know what it is. What? I bet that the... Because normally he has things around him that you have to purchase to activate him. But I bet that because it's rainbow mode, the stuff just... that deactivates shops has also deactivated that boss. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Because I bet it technically counts as a shop, so technically yeah, yeah. the items got removed because rainbow mode. It's kind of funny. Uh... Boulder is staunchly anti-capitalist. Not even he won't even let you do healthcare. <laughs> I need to conserve my ammo for the boss at this point. By the way, if anyone hasn't Thank noticed you. what elite bullets do yet, it essentially means no matter where you shoot, it'll hit the nearest enemy. I'm shooting towards yeah, the door right now. It's it's super homing. It's ridiculous. It's it basically it means that you never have to aim ever again unless you're using a beam weapon. This is... God. Actually, um, Alpha Beam is from something. What's it from? It is from one of the earliest pieces of Gungeon concept art. And oh, really? There is a really early piece of Gungeon concept art that uh, shows all, like, the main characters in front of an early prototype version of the Gungeon uh, being besieged by uh, Gun Dead. And uh, in that image... The hunter is holding a beam weapon, uh, like a laser beam, that is not in the game. It was just like something they made up for the promotional art. And so I decided I was going to make it real. Yeah, I like the idea. Alright, I never saw my rat room, so that's kind of unfortunate. I forgot I was meant to be looking for it, I'll be honest. Uh, you're stupid. You're a big freaking stupid. I'm sure, I was just about to say, I'm sure there'll still be a rat alive, but they won't be, will they? Because I decimated everything. Yeah, no, I don't, do you think rats can survive this? Oh, we might be skipping the rat floor then, because I am not traipsing around this entire floor, walking on every single bit of floor. Just oh, we could always happen. cheat. We could always cheat. It annoys me that the rat corpses can despawn. Yeah, I, I, I really don't understand that logic. I don't think there was much logic behind it. I think it's genuinely just an oversight. That the devs, like... Okay, I think... Okay, um... I don't <laughs> think they know what to do when you put the split point inside of the enemy. No, they really don't. <laughs> But hey, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's the Alpha Beam, baby! Oh, God. There you go. We got him. Give me some ammo, please. There you go, we got ammo. Go in again, go in again, go in again. Really study the enemies this time. have to study them at this frame rate. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you'll have to send me your... What the fuck are you? Jammed. Oh, they can be jammed. I... For some reason it didn't cross my mind that they could be jammed. <laughs> right, what, what am I doing to get to the rat floor? Uh, you have uh, load level, right? 
I think so. Right. Is that it? Uh, there is a tab that can tell you. Ah, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right. I think right lair, right den. There we go. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Should be just fine. Woo! Okay, so, think... test gun, which is chaos. Test gun would be pretty fun. That item is crowded clips. It gives you stat boosts the more items you have. It's pretty bad in rainbow mode. That one's just a lot of armor. Gunga eats other guns to gain their projectiles. Again, pretty bad in rainbow mode where you don't actually have a lot of surplus I like the way guns. in rainbow mode, literally every item is always from your pack. Not really. Like, there's four items from my pack, three items from vanilla, and one item from, uh, from Mod the Gungeon here. This. You know what? Your funeral. With elite bullets, it seems funny. Actually, no, that would be pretty funny. That's comedic gold. Oh yeah, Bunny has actually added new rooms to this floor. I always forget that. Which, for anyone unaware, was a pretty difficult thing to do in days gone by. Oh my god. This is a little crazy. By the way, my crossbow is taking on elite bullets too, so I wish I had a better weapon. <laughs> I think I have such a long reload, then. Okay, I think we're out now, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I was telling, I was telling Turtle earlier that I have been working on designing unlocks, character-specific unlocks, for various uh, milestone achievements. Yeah. More similar to how Isaac does <clears throat> its unlocks. Because in Gungeon, it's typically, you know, you do a thing once with any character and it's, it's done. Cheese heart unlocked. Oh, you didn't have cheese heart. Interesting. Hmm. So, uh, the top is. Yeah, top that, is. I, I I know what this is. I don't I, I don't think I want that. Um, top left is an amulet that opens chests. Useless. What's this? And one? right is the tool gun from Gary's mod. How the fuck does that work in here? Uh, you can reload a full clip to choose a mode, and you can spawn things, you can uh, alter the size of objects, you can spawn tables, you can spawn barrels, you can spawn friendly enemies, you can even erase enemies at the, at, with a high ammo cost. It's it's very it's very versatile, but very strange. Yeah, I'm, trying, maybe, I'm like, maybe this, but I don't know what it is. It looks interesting, but it might be Isn't trash. It, like, uh... I'd say maybe go for something to alleviate your ammo issues. Maybe, uh, uh the, the top. I forget. I mean, I it's really my own weapon, issues. and I, I don't. Like I don't remember what it's called. I'm gonna take this gun warrant. Um, although being an engineer doesn't require a warrant, the benefits of having one is hard to pass by, especially for engineers that enjoy steady supply of new weaponry. This probably has something to do with buying guns, doesn't it? Probably. Which you can't do in this mode. There is a way to exclude items that are completely useless from rainbow mode. What we need now like, is external item descriptions. That would be helpful. <laughs> in, in like, only rainbow mode, really. But... There actually is uh, a mod for that. Yeah, but it doesn't support but... all the up-to-date mods, does it? It needs to be updated yeah, manually. It's, it's it's annoying. And it's annoying to write out descriptions for everything you've ever made. Twice. Yeah, because, I mean... Because it... It should just pull from the Ammonomicons rather than having to be written manually, really. But then again, that would require people to write Ammonomicon entries to actually tell you what it does, which not a lot of people do. It'd be better than nothing, I guess. I like that curve shot. <laughs> I love the arrows just, like, flying off towards the enemies always. Anyways, yeah, I was thinking, like, characters could have specific unlocks for 
various parts of the game. Like, I've already been sort of doing that by giving each character a, a boss rush to unlock. So, yeah. you do boss rushes, convict, you do boss rushes, robot. Just to sort of encourage people to play characters they don't like, because I'm evil and I hate people and I don't want them <laughs> to have fun. Makes sense. You thought you could have fun in a video game? No, you have to play that character you don't like. You don't have to. You could always cheat, but I'll be very sad if you do. Not you. Evan, you don't have to ruin your time. You, you specifically, Turtle, do not have the option of cheating because I will, <laughs> I will kick your ass. But anyone else, uh, you're not within ass kicking range. Technically, Turtle isn't either, but I'll find a way. Extra rainbow chest. Why not? Turtle demonstrates a complete lack of confidence in his own ability to flawless the boss. I do. We've got... What the hell's this? Chunky Oh rounds? my god, all the items are from your mod. Only one of the items here is from my mod. That's true. Um, yeah. So we got chunky bullets, which I don't know what they do. Well, neither do I. We got this Probably skull. like big fat boys. I kind of want it now. Oscillate. Oh bullets. no! What does it do? Oh, this is an interesting one. Oh! <laughs> that is pretty interesting. I remember this. I'm not entirely sure how useful it'll be. Wait, there's a secret room in there. Oh, it's just an average wait, secret room. Wait, wait, wait. Destroy these to get my thingy back. My invincibility. There you go. Got it. It works. Too, then. Nice. What do you think of uh, Lead Soul as an item? Yeah, it's really good. Really good. I think it's worth the uh, Shade Lich unlock? Yeah, definitely. I really wanted to make like the Shades unlocks very powerful items, but not like overpowered. I just wanted them to to feel like you get what you deserve. To feel like not like, to feel not like ghost bombs. Yeah. To feel not like haunted chests. I love the oscillating with this, by the way. It looks horrible. Oh yeah, Bunny making <laughs> beams oscillate was amazing. Also, I think this fight was pretty easy for you, but I think for the main reason for that was the, the Overseer, for some reason, did a really easy attack for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> like, most most bosses wouldn't have done a, an attack that simple for that long, but Overseer... I think, I gotta say, Overseer has been tweaked and stuff as, as it goes. It definitely needs some, some yeah. difficulty yeah. tweaking. Oh, dude... If you've not seen what uh, Bot has been doing with Overseer behind the scenes, it's incredible. I'm just, like, stating specifically why I think that particular fight you just had was a bit easy, in, in case that's still an issue, you know? Okay, well, we are in hell. God is dead and we have killed him. Killed. I hope you know that. Oh yeah, I know. I fully expect that. I am the sun. This is... Oh god, this is one of those stupid modded synergies that is just shit working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not, not like a necessarily a, a synergy synergy, but just stuff working. Soft working synergies are always my favourite though. Things where it's not like a pre-authored synergy, it just kind of works that oh, way. Yeah, no, they're, my, they're my favourite too, because I don't have to code them. Okay, can I stop being hit by enemies spawning in that I can't fucking see? Encoding is hard. I don't want to do it, I don't want to go hard. This is so difficult. You could use anything other than this gun, you know. I have a pistol. Honestly, still probably better for you at this point in time. <laughs> Until you can get your uh, lead soul back. That's on you. That damage was on you. What the hell? Um, hello, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> what the fuck's that doing there? Buy it, buy it now. Oh, uh, that must be that must be the item that, uh, that Bunny made. It must work on Rainbow Mud. Oh, I see, so 
it must be like you get an extra gun in every shop or something. Yeah, and it some, for some reason still works in Rainbow Mode. I guess he just isn't checking for Rainbow Mode, because it must just spawn like a, a shot pedestal. Which is actually extremely impressive. Like, spawning a shot pedestal in Dungeon, it takes a lot more effort than spawning one in Isaac. Yeah. I, I, even, Isaac is imprinted on my brain. It's not a pedestal, it's just an item that is for sale. It, it is an item with price tag, but I still call it a pedestal because my brain is rotten by Isaac. <laughs> Isaac Brain Rot. I think there was an uh, El, El Tigre shot. I do actually like these rooms because they're not inherently difficult. But you still always take damage in them. <laughs> because you're just, you're impatient. I am. And your hubris is your undoing. <laughs> As with everything else. Exactly. I, I can't be all waiting around for things to happen. But yes, uh, the, the events for character-specific unlocks that I thought would work were Boss Rush, The Resourceful Rat, Advanced Dragon, Doing the Past Without Getting Hit, and doing the past with only your starter weapon. Hmm. So, like, you know how when you spawn into the past, you usually have your generic starter weapon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured that, like, let's say you do the I Marine's past. I thought ripped only... by death, then. My god. I said reaped, not ripped. Pinky. Pinky. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mr. Turtle. What have you been doing? Why is that on your mind? What kind of a Freudian slip is that? This is strange. Yeah, no shit. This thing's strong as fuck, holy hell. You're a serial rapist. <laughs> I appreciate the awkward laugh. It really accentuates the fact that I should not be making that joke, but I am anyways. <laughs> it really does. Blinded by the lights. I love it. Um. See, so yeah, like if you were to do the Marine's past with only the Marine sidearm and not use the other gun he gets given, there would be an unlock for that. Is that does he get the Germany carbine? Does doesn't he? Yes, he does. And it's just to be like. Um, a reason to go to the pasts more because yeah. I feel like people add a lot of unlocks to bullet hell. Like, if you think throughout all mods, there's a lot of unlocks related to bullet hell and not a lot related to the pasts. Yeah, you are right. It'd be a good, good to have reasons to go there again. Because the there is literally no reason to do it more than once. Yeah, you just do it once, and then you're gone. I, w I also considered all jammed mode past unlocks, but then I realized that that kind of is just too similar to no hit past unlocks. Yeah. So I decided that no hit is uh, more punishing and still more fun. Okay, I'm focusing hard on getting this guy down. You need to redeem yourself. There's something with the what I, I don't know if this is just the fact that so many things are colliding and it has to calculate so much stuff that it's lagging, or if something is actually breaking. At this point, it could be either, and I don't know which, and that scares me. Because I don't like not being in control. <laughs> Here you've got the least control ever. Beautiful. It all just strips away my ability to comprehend everything that's going on. <laughs> I just destroy your mods all the time, it's fun. Destroy everyone's mods. Everyone's. Literally. Yeah. No, even with even with games that are not this, you break Ipecac, you break everything. I do. 
But I do testing at work, because I break everything at work too. Yeah, he somehow managed to um, capitalize on his inability to use basic technology. <laughs> Why are you dying? What's going on here? I think it was just like a sliver of health, but the gaps in the beam kept conveniently missing the hard yeah. hitbox. So are we going bullet hell? Yeah. Do you think we have the time? We do, we do. We're only at 35 minutes so far. Damn, this was a short one. Yeah. I basically just so meant we can't him... really go over an hour. That's why they call him the quickest YouTuber in the West. <laughs> no, no, no. And actually this time, guess what? I'm recording. It's actually recording. And it's recording audio too. Yeah, he's recording himself being the quickest YouTuber in the West. Um... Oh, all your items are in the rainbow chest. None of these are mine. <laughs> uh, suspicious strongbox would not have time to charge. I don't know what this is. I kind of want to take Neither. the billiard ball weapon. That seems like it could be interesting. What's the top one? A pistol. Yeah, I'm gonna take the billiard ball weapon. It's got low ammo, but it's it's a fun weapon. And I think with elite bullets and oh god, no, it's broken. <laughs> I I don't know if it's broke. No, it's broke. It, everything it's broke. everything is trying to conflict. Oh, um, it just exploded. What uh, what happened? It's gone. Uh, I don't so think my you other have gun. a curse, do you? Wait. You, you... I don't think you have a curse. I didn't see one. No, you must have the curse. Where the fuck's my billiard bu ball gu gun gone? Did you get Curse of Butterfingers on this floor? I think you must have. I didn't see it pop up, to be honest. I need to add a way to, for you to check curses after you load into the level, but I'm not good at that. I, I'm scared. Can I just add them as an it. item? I, I mean, I could, but they're not items. I'd need to make fake items to add them to your inventory for the floor and then remove them, and that just is a bunch more hassle. I think it's better if I just find a way to stick, uh, to put like a sticker on the HUD. I won't tell anyone that you cheated. Don't worry. Well, I Don't didn't worry, cheat. Bugs. I just gave myself what I deserve because you took it away from me with your dumb. The curse was your idea. My idea was not to throw things in fucking pits, never name. Stop. Well then why did you do it? No part of my idea included having your weapons be able to float into fucking pits. There are actually items that will prevent uh, it from falling in pits just by virtue of what they do. Like, um, the, uh, uh what is it? I should, I should make that a thing of the ruby bracelet. Uh, it's a thing with the diamond and pearl bracelets. Uh, which actually isn't diamond and pearl the name of a Pokemon game? Yeah. That was, that's a complete coincidence. I made a diamond bracelet and a pearl bracelet and it's not a Pokemon reference. They were just Man. gemstones that I thought were interesting at the time. So both of those are items that affect thrown guns, and both of them have the effect of making thrown guns return to you, and also, um, not fall in pits. Oh my god! This curse sucks dick! Why do I ever suggest this? Please get rid of it. I'll do a vote. I'll do- yeah, I'll do a vote. I'll do a vote. I'm gonna ask people in the modding server, I'm gonna ask- ask some other people who play my mod, and I'm gonna ask the modders, and I'm gonna ask- viewers at home, do you think that guns thrown with Curse of Butterfingers should fall into pits? Turtle, you don't get a vote. Personally, I think they should, I, because it's... I, I also think it shouldn't be a guarantee to throw your weapon on hit. It should be a chance. Mad, mad cause bad. It's just frustrating as shit. It's so annoying. <laughs> I don't think you're playing with decreased curse chances yet either. Thanks for the key, dogger. I'm gonna be out of ammo. I'm gonna use my pistol on this floor for, for in, a, in a moment. This is not the intended way to play this game. <laughs> it is not. 
But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like the fact that you can fall in pits because it's more of an incentive. It's it's the most dangerous curse by far. It really is like... Exactly. You it's it's way more hit. dangerous than every other curse. Like, way. Like, ridiculously more dangerous than every other curse. Which, which you say now, but then you get another curse and you complain about that one too. Yeah, because the, the other curses are, like, minor inconveniences and annoyances. This one just ruins the fun. It's like, oh, I have this cool gun that I really enjoy using. Oh, I've, I've got hit and now it's thrown into a pit because I was accidentally facing the wrong way. And now it's I gone feel, forever. It's like, literally... I feel like the fact that you could lose a gun is, is part of the penalty. Literally 100% of the time it takes a gun off me, I'm spawning it back in. Every single time. I'm never, ever accepting it taking a gun off me. I think it's just bad. Mods had easy config files. I would, I would add a configure out the option, but as it stands, if I wanted to add it as an option, it would have to go in the commands. Keep in mind, the last time Turtle asked me specifically for a toggleable option, a toggleable command option to change something about my mod that he didn't like, he never used it. He, he not once did he turn it on. I can't remember what that was now. Uh, the Insta Killers, when you were doing your hard mode series, you were like, oh, I think I think they're a bit too cheesy. I think they sway the balance of hard mode. And I, I made a toggle for you to turn them off um, to make them just do increased damage and not insta kill because you were like. I did, I did yeah, I use think... that. You didn't. I don't think you ever turned it on. I definitely did. I really don't recall you ever doing that. You know. You know Maybe, maybe my memory is a skill issue, as the kids would say. I am known to be an old man at times. But still. <laughs> Alright, you at home, listeners, you've heard both sides of the ordeal. <laughs> now it's time for you to weigh in. Who's in the right? The charming New Zealander, the British man. The British. I'm fucking British. I'm dead. So British. Yes. That was to be expected because I had fucking zero weapons for that entire run, basically, apart from that just m monstrosity. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Was that a one. Fun, it was, it was fun. a fun monstrosity. It definitely was. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. My goodness. Oh, Lord, that was, yeah, that was, that was a weird run, but I liked it. Maybe do a bit more rainbow runs soon. Anyways, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys in the next one.